Okie doke folks, it is time for another pattern. Go to pattern-collections.com and make sure you're on the home page so you can scroll down to Pattern Focus to find today's pattern. I'm going to go to here, which is Urchin. I've done this one before. I really like this one. Uh, this one's by Trisha Long. Super easy to do. You guys can do this so much fun it's organic and you know right up my alley first thing you're going to do is you're going to create like a circle and at the top of the circle you're going to do a little spiral okay then coming off from that spiral you're going to do little spookies got it the end of those little spookies you're going to make little circles now, if you want to, you could do it the other way around. You can make the little circles and then make the spookies match the circles. Either one works. On the back side, the circles are like half a circle because you won't see the whole thing. And then you do some shading. The green indicates pencil and you shade so that it looks like that. It's kind of hard to see the shading on this particular one. but And there's a whole tassel of them overlapped each other. So all you have to think about when you're drawing these is um, where do you want the one that's standing up front because those you have to draw first and then the ones behind will be partial circles rather than whole circles. That one was a whole one, that one's a whole one, and the rest of these are partial. That's all there is to it. Simple, easy. I really like this one. I've done it before. Um, I don't remember which video, it was a long time ago, but I have done it before. I'm going to um, get my light. Oh, I can't reach that today. Get that started, find myself a piece of paper because, you know, heaven forbid I should be organized. And um, it's unlikely that I will use the string, but I will put the string on here uh, once again. The string is just a guide. You you may or may not be using the string. Um, the string goes like this and then into the corners like this. And perhaps I'll just use the string as a general idea of where I might want to put these little urchins. Perhaps I want one focusing itself right here and one focusing itself right here. And then we'll just build a few up and around like this. I'm just going to have a whole passel of them. Perhaps one coming this way. I don't know. Or not. Maybe that's not what I want to do. Um, Yeah, something like that. Okay, I'm just gonna put one in. I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. I'm gonna just start here and I'm gonna come around. When I get to the top, I'm just gonna keep going in a spiral like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw all my urchin guys first, I think. Yeah, no, I gotta put my. I'm 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 just thinking. <sighs> thinking it can be a bad thing sometimes. All right, so I'm gonna bring this one around like this, and it's gonna come up, and in here somewhere is gonna be my spiral. I'm gonna have another one right here. With a spirally bit right there. I'm going to be a, a partial here with a spirally bit there. Maybe one coming out from here 
with its spirally bit partially hidden. Oops, you can't see what I'm doing. And maybe one here. You can see part of it there like that. Like that. That looks good to me. Not using the string today. That might be the theme of this week because they really have not really lent it themselves to this kind of a straight lined thing that's going on with the string, which is fine. You know, they don't have to. And then, um, then draw your lines coming outward. A slight curve. When you get to the bottom here, curve the other way so that you have that bend. These ones coming this way will have a curve going that way. Maybe there, and then when it comes the other way, start bending the other direction. And you get to the other side of that curve, like that. That one's going like that. This one is going this way Something in that nature. Kind of look like beach balls, you know. And then, you're supposed to have these little spiny bits here at the end. Oh, that should have only been a partial. Oh well. Too late. Something in that general idea, right like that. And then you shade, and then you're done. This is a super simple one. I'm going to shade where they're overlapping. I'm gonna make that one dark. Super dark in there because it's got two of them overlapping together. Come around my little little urchin feet, my little spiny bits. You can shade here, which I think I will do. Maybe a little around the, the spiral.
just coming around and doing all the overlaps. bits something like that start with that I'm just gonna use my little stump today because I got all these little tiny spaces to fill in to get ink everywhere today. Still no refrigerator yet. That doesn't come till the end of the week. I keep forgetting because the old refrigerator is still sitting here though they'll, they'll take that out when the new one gets delivered so I keep forgetting that there I need to go all the way out to the garage to go get the milk yeah I forget you don't realize how many times during the day you actually go into your refrigerator until you have to go somewhere else to get the stuff that goes in the that's living in the refrigerator and then you realize wow I, I use the refrigerator a lot more than I thought I did so making a meal is interesting you actually have to have a plan what do I what do I need to get out of the refrigerator Do I need to carry all of it back into the kitchen? Or can I just go get a small portion? Do I need to take the measuring cup out and just pour a little bit of milk into a measuring cup out in the garage? Or do I need to bring the whole gallon of milk into the house? All these little things that you start thinking about, it's interesting. Like, problem with the thin, the small stump is just that it's so tiny that it's hard on my fingers. I like a fatter, a fatter grip. That little grip was just really tight and it was starting to bug me. We'll go with the fatter one. Unless I get a spot where I just really feel like I need to go into the, with the smaller one. I'm just going to use the fat one. Workers are here next door and our neighbors are having a lot of remodeling done and uh, I don't know who's here today but today's bunch of workers have their music really loud because I have all my windows closed and I can hear it okay so that looks good. How is this bundle of little urchins gonna live? They're gonna live. I feel like they wanna live this way at kind of an angle.
U-R-C-H-E-N. U-R-C-H-E-N. And I didn't use string number 47. I just didn't really use it. So I'm not going to write that on there. There's today's pattern. Super easy, fun little pattern. I feel like it wants a little bit of ground here. I feel like they're floating in space. I don't like that. We'll give them a little bit of some place to sit here on the bottom of the ocean. There. That's better. I like that better. Okay. Done and done. I will see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a great day. Go out and do something nice for somebody today. Put a smile on someone's face. Maybe somebody will put a smile on yours. Let me know about it. Tell me about your happy things that are happening in your life. That makes me happy. And the more happy that we have floating around in the world, the better things are, are just in general. You know, there is enough. I could go on and on about the horrible things that are happening in the world because, you know, they're, they're there. They're out there. I'm choosing not to do that. I'm not going to dwell on those things. I'm going to dwell on the good. You dwell on the good, and let's make the world a better place. Bye.